Hi, how you doing? I'll be talking about a whole bunch of cool servers in this video, but first, let me give you some context. I love Minecraft. Classic PvP games, factions, prison, minigame servers. I grew up with these games. The first server I ever played was called MC Infected, and believe me when I say it went hard. Player-controlled zombies slowly overwhelmed the players on maps from Call of Duty remade in Minecraft. This was somehow life-changing for 12-year-old me. The fact that I could play tons of different games within one game was very exciting, and it's led to where I'm at right now. There's one such server early on that also left a great impact on me compared to others. Windcraft, an ambitious MMO RPG project created within a Minecraft server. This server was weird. It wasn't anything I'd ever experienced before. Update after update, Windcraft continues to improve, amassing a large community of players that have dedicated tons of their time to this game. And there's so much more that the developers could do. It's just a matter of time. Like, it goes without saying that Windcraft deserved its clout. At present, Windcraft is visually the most impressive MMORPG. The build team cooks up heat every update, and they even return to older builds to bring them up to standard. And the spells? Oh my god. The abilities look amazing, the weapons you use to cast them also look great. The custom server resource pack even has a built-in shader just so that they can get that perfect, intended look for their game. They even have cosmetic hats. Get off of me! Over the years, a bunch of servers would compete against Windcraft, with only one having more success. Hypixel Skyblock. And yes, Skyblock is an MMORPG. Skyblock is a huge grind, bro. A reminiscent of old MMORPG games. Uh only the players who put in the most amount of time ever get to witness everything the game has to offer. Skyblock is actually like one of those old prison servers where players would mine all day and sell the resources in order to afford a rank up just so they could repeat the same process in a higher money earning level. Let's go get some diamonds. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum. Wait a minute. This is just a prison server. Except, Skyblock has been extremely developed into the game it is now. With tons of secrets and insane dungeons, Skyblock is just absolutely loaded with features. Despite the crazy decisions the admins have made over the years, Skyblock is still an impressive game. If you aren't a fan of grinding, you probably shouldn't play Skyblock. However, if you would just like to watch the game, there are plenty of streamers and content creators showcasing everything the game has to offer. At the very least, I'll be re-watching every single one of Technoblade's Skyblock videos. Skyblock as a game is pretty impressive, so I definitely feel like it warrants a try. Hypixel Skyblock prioritizes the grind. RPG elements like quests and class features are within Skyblock, but have no emphasis. Instead, gear and profile progression play the largest role. And of course, developing your island definitely plays a part, hence the name Skyblock. I'm kinda down to make some Skyblock videos, and I'd like to hear your opinion. Tell me in the comments and feel free to fight each other. Shifting gears towards a server I actually have recent experience with, Windcraft. Windcraft prioritizes the RPG experience. The builds are amazing, the storytelling is great, and if you're into that, from the moment you log in, it is clear that you are no longer playing Minecraft. Starting off with nothing, you will need to simultaneously learn how to play the game while acquiring new and better gear, completing quests, and exploring this world that's been in development for 10 plus years. There is no rush, the only thing ahead of you is Windcraft's endgame. MMO RPGs are infamous for their endless grinding. Windcraft takes a different route for their endgame. There isn't a never-ending grind, instead it's up to you to decide what game feature has the most meaning to you. Leveling each class to the highest effective level and making a build with a mythic weapon for it is one part of the endgame, but it is also entirely unnecessary. Guilds and professions are another endgame feature, but both can be ignored with no consequence. After finishing all the quests, beating every dungeon and raid, and getting a single class to 105, you have pretty much beat Windcraft. The only thing there really is to do is to start a new class and repeat the process. On the flip side, Hypixel Skyblock's endgame grind seemingly never ends. This is not a bad thing. MMORPGs oftentimes have unrelenting grinds. It really comes down to what type of player you are. The success of Windcraft and Hypixel Skyblock shines brightly, showcasing that the genre is something worth investing time into. As such, it is no surprise that many, many developers have started their own MMORPG projects, and I am someone who is interested in those servers. 
There's one work in progress server project that I am super excited about, and I'll be talking about that near the end of the video. But let me talk about a few other unique servers first. Monumenta. Monumenta develops the vanilla feel of Minecraft into a challenging dungeon crawling game. This server meshes together two different game genres, MMORPG and CTM. CTM, also known as Complete the Monument, is a challenging genre of Minecraft adventure maps where you conquer the dungeons in search of the wolves. These wolves are keys required to complete the monument. Monumenta evolves the CTM game mode and makes an incredible server experience with it. Tons of challenging content like world bosses, quick strikes, and of course, dungeons. My favorite dungeon so far is Darkest Depths. This dungeon is inspired by Hades and other roguelikes. The rooms are procedurally generated, dictated by the reward you choose when opening the next room. While inside this dungeon, you lose all of your normal skills and instead you're granted special abilities made only for Darkest Depths. Upgrade yourself with a variety of rewarded abilities by completing these rooms. And then, after beating the third boss, you win your rewards. <laughs> for people who like a challenge, there is an endless mode. As you complete more and more floors, random delve modifiers are added and things get crazier and the difficulty keeps increasing and then you start taking more damage and things are just super chaotic and your lifeline just pops! Oh, and dude, fuck, it's so fun! The last region is Region 3, Architect's Ring. This is their most recent region and it has most of their current development attention. These builds are incredible and beautiful. Yeah, damn, they big! I have only recently gotten to this region, so I'm still discovering a whole lot of stuff myself. But, dude, Monumenta is amazing. But I must warn you, the start is slow and vanilla. These dungeons are also huge and challenging. So it'd be a lot more fun to force your friends to suffer with you. Yo! GG. Those are the three most popular servers that I know of. Despite the unique efforts to design these quality Minecraft servers, the player counts drop drastically. And these are cool servers. Megado Abyss is a Souls-like RPG server with a very unique and entirely custom combat system. Parries, dodging, learning and reading your opponents, tons of different areas with tons of different bosses. I haven't gotten to play Megado Abyss yet, but I'm pumped to check it out. Faceland is an absolutely astounding server with great energy and notably insane quality. This server is an open beta and the lead developer is a madman. Definitely worth a try. I've been naming a few servers, but there's way more server projects that are still in closed development. And currently, my favorite server project is Spellforged. Spellforged has been in development for three years now, and they have some trailers showing off their progress. Lots of what we know comes from sneak peeks, and the owner or lead developers explaining the systems they've designed. Like, just recently, Novalescent shared this neat open-world mini-mission mechanic. There's so much more stuff that they're cooking up for Spellforging, dude. I can't wait. <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm biased, alright? I want this server to succeed. It's, it's gonna be so good. And yeah. There's no profound meaning to this video other than me advertising the things I'm interested in. I'll be streaming these servers here on YouTube with a very random schedule. And you can join my Discord for stream notifications. Thanks for watching.